It has been a little bit of time since I have done a break it down video and I was debating on what exactly I wanted to break down. Now I have a lot of new board games and I really couldn't decide on which one to do so I'm kind of having a little bit of fun. We're going to have a two for one on this one. We're going to be talking about two very fun wordplay card games and chances are you've probably heard of at least um, one of them. The other one I actually found out about at a uh, family at a family get together, and I was very surprised to see how incredibly fun and just all around what a good time it was. Now, granted, for the uh, <laughs> the faint of heart and people who are not a fan of strong language, um, just understand going into this. While I will do my best to make sure that whatever cards we do see are not going to be containing <clears throat> a lot of graphic imagery or wording understand this is a very these are very adult themed card based word games and understand going forward if you're someone that's easily offended by a lot of things you're not going to have a good time so maybe this is treat this as a learning experience if you must but just know you have been warned but let's get into it this is going to be kind of like a versus and we'll talk about what you know the pros and the cons of both and which i think is ultimately better and of course i'm talking about Cards Against Humanity versus Joking Hazards. Let's get into it. Getting set up for Cards Against Humanity is really, really simple. First thing you're going to do is you're going to deal each player who is playing 10 cards from the white deck, and you're going to play the black card at the beginning of each turn. So, for instance, if I were to just put down the card I've already previously gotten, what will I bring back in time to convince people that I am a powerful wizard? And basically how it works is this. Each, out of everybody who's playing, one person is going to be the judge. Said person then is going to choose from every other person who is playing the best possible choice answer. Each person that isn't the judge is going to put down a different white card. Like let's say you're playing with three other people and then there's yourself. So you got four people playing. I myself have played this card, so I will not be participating in putting down a white card this turn. The whole point of the game is to score as many of these cards as possible. They count as points, and pretty much the game goes until somebody plays the card that asks, asks you to create a haiku. Now, I'm going to take some cards here, and oh, we'll mix it up, and we'll just say, like, these three cards right here are the other three people that I am playing against. And I'll go through them, and I'll read them, and I'll decide which one I feel is the funniest as soon as my camera decides it's going to stop autofocusing. So, what will I bring back in time to convince people that I am in a powerful wizard? How about scalping? No? The Light of a Billion Suns? Or Darth Vader? Now, you as the judge, you get to decide which of these answers is the funniest. Now, you're not going to know who picked these because essentially how it's going to work is people are going to deal them face down so you're only seeing the Cards Against Humanity side and then you mix them up and you pick whichever one you think is the funniest and there's how you get the winner. Like I said, now this can go as long as you want. Like, you can run through this entire deck. It'll take hours. But you, the rules say once you play the Haiku card, that signifies the end of the game. You can wager these to basically play another scenario to win more points. There's so many different uh, variations of the rules. You could basically have the game play against everybody, meaning that you can draw a card from the top of this deck here, add it to the amount of cards you're going to be getting, and basically if you want to create a certain, like, I don't know, a cutoff, like if Rando Card Recian ends up getting 
because that's technically the name of the the other uh, the uh, the game itself, Rando. If they get to a certain point, or once you get to haiku, and they have the most points, and everybody loses. But that's essentially how you play the game. Now, there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different rules here that I'm not pointing out. Um, you can reboot the universe. Uh, at any time, players may trade in an awesome point to return as many white cards as they like back to the deck and draw up to 10 new cards. So let's say you have a card full of garbage, or a handful of garbage, and you have a couple of, like you have a couple of these just sitting aside, and you're really not doing too well. You can basically get rid of one of these, and you can get a whole new hand. But yeah, I definitely recommend giving this one a shot. It's a lot of fun. Um, I will say the only thing it's lacking is some visual representation. However, there are there is the ability to write in your own answers on a couple of blank cards, which is really funny if you're playing with really good friends and you all have your same inside jokes. So that's Cards Against Humanity. Joking Hazard ultimately plays the same way, except everyone draws from one deck. I just have them divided into two, plus there's more in the box. Everyone draws seven cards. The judge then turns one of the cards from the decks. I usually have two, especially if we're playing with more people, so there isn't as many people reaching across the table, and that's the situation card. So everyone who isn't the judge is going to, we're going to go through it. Today I achieved a lifelong dream, and everyone's going to look through their cards, and they're going to decide, they're going to then give me their answer face down, and then I'm going to pick them up, like so, and then going to decide which ones are the funniest. Now the difference here is... All the cards have illustrations. They're always going to have one, if not both, of these characters. A lot of them are pretty tame like this. Some of them are pretty graphic and vulgar in nature. That's why I said between this and Cards Against Humanity, if you're someone that's easily offended, you're not going to appreciate this game. But if you're someone that has a pretty open sense of humor, you're going to have a pretty fun time. So let's so let's look at these answers again. Because I usually, if I'm the judge, I usually read this as I'm reading everyone's individual cards. So today I achieved a lifelong dream. That's the that's the uh, card this turn. And I'll be, uh, read the answers. I have a today I achieved a lifelong dream. I am so goddamn turned on right now. <laughs> today I achieved a lifelong dream. Can you check my butt for lumps? And today I achieved a lifelong dream. I am a cop. And then I will decide which one is the best. Um, now, again, you also need to be paying attention to where, who is speaking the dialogue lines, because you'll notice if, like, one of these just doesn't fit with the rest because it's coming from the person who is being talked to. So it's a little bit more challenging. Um, the discard rules in this, you, they're usually house rules, and that is, if, if you don't have what you need, you can discard, I guess, I think the rule implies, like, you can discard up to as many as you'd like to get a brand new hand, um, but if you don't have anything after your discard, you can't, you can't play that turn, or the mulligan rule is you just draw one less card. Now, the difference here is that maybe you did not get the black border card. No, no, no. Maybe you got something different, like a red border card. Like this, where you get a third character, a female, who is just says men as the two main characters are in the background. Now, how that works is that you will then play, each player will then play two black border cards that are basically going to tell the story as to how we got to this here. So, like, looking, I'll take some on here, and it's going to be very rough, so I apologize if it makes no sense. So, like... The situation is men, so that's the final part in it. Now, again, house rules. You, this can also be, like, the beginning of a situation, and people can play in the end, or one and one. I mean, again, it really just depends as to who's playing and how stern you want the rules to be. But this, the rules say this is the end result, so that's how we're going to play it. So the two cards I have randomly picked are your mom and I are getting a divorce, which then leads to them both proclaiming, we did it, men. So every person's going to play two cards and you're going to pick the best scenario. Again, this is all done face down. You're not going to know who picks what. And that's pretty much Joking Hazard. Uh, you play um, um, a little bit different. There is no haiku card. A lot of the cards are just illustrations with no words. However, the best thing you can do is probably set a point cap. 
that you won't go over, or just set a time limit. That's the cool thing about this game. Um, you can pretty much set your own rules for a lot of it that I can understand, therefore giving you a lot of freedom to determine what you what, what really is your speed. So anyway, that's Joking Hazards.